Well, I can remember drawing and, and painting and watercolor um, in elementary school. School was, was quite, quite a distraction, actually, and so uh, I spent all my time, free time, uh, basically drawing and playing with inks and, and pastels and things like that. It wasn't until um, around the age of 11 uh, I really started studying lots of uh, art books and going to the library quite a bit and, and uh, um, wanting to, to really take it more serious. But the, the problem that we had is that we couldn't find any instruction for me as no one wanted to take an 11, 11 year old under their wing. And it wasn't until I, um, until my brother bought me some oil paints actually when I was 12 years old for my birthday uh, that I embraced uh, oil painting and, um, and when I was 13 uh, I met an artist in uh, Vancouver, that's where we lived and his name was Lauren Adams. I uh, quit school when I was 14 and uh, studied with him full time for, for uh, two years where I learned uh, uh, the techniques that I, a lot of what I use today and then over the years I've just developed a lot of my own techniques. Um, I've always loved nature, uh, so uh, I would go to Stanley Park a lot in the uh, in the early years, and then uh, we'd do a lot of camping and um, going up to Manning Park. And uh, so I was always drawing and, and uh, painting when I was out there. And uh, I never realized that you could actually make a living from painting uh, until studying with Lauren in those early years and then uh, I had my first show when I was 15 years old at the P&E in Vancouver and, um, and that was the beginning over 40 years now of painting and uh, making a living and uh, it's been uh, quite a blessing actually. I've uh, been very blessed over my years to, to discover what I wanted to do early on and uh, been able to uh, actually make a go of it. Thank you.